This video will demonstrate the principles of using MDrummer to effectively and efficiently create a drum track to a song. It is important to watch our MIDI command method tutorial prior to this video, so you understand the principles of some of the methods used here. I'll start by briefly acquainting you with the track I'll be using. Pity the fool, I wanna have to see you right back down to grammar school Yeah, you know I'm hotter than hell And I'm gonna vex you, gonna put you on my spell if you can I'll drag an instance of M-Drum of VST1 out onto the timeline The 16 out version won't be necessary, since that is mainly used for further mixing I'll choose hip hop for this track and find an adequate rhythm Don't hate the player, hate the game Yeah. Worldwide. I'm also going to use an instance of M multiband limiter to make the drum track hotter from the offset. The song starts with one bar of silence. I'll insert a MIDI clip here, which can be the intro, followed by an 8 bar MIDI clip, which I will use as a template for the rest. I'll draw a note on C minus 2 for the intro, followed by 7 bars of groove and a 1 bar break on the second clip. I'll now simply duplicate the second clip along the arrangement and add a final MIDI clip for the outro. Soloing the track, I'll show how the verse sounds prior to editing. And after an increase of three semitones. With that in mind, I'll edit the remaining clips accordingly. An increase of 8 semitones for the first chorus. An increase of 6 semitones for the solo. An increase of 9 semitones for the second chorus. An increase of 4 semitones for the second verse. An increase of 10 semitones for the final chorus and bridge. And an increase of 10 semitones for the outro. I want to add some variation. So in the three chorus sections, I'm going to add a stop, half a bar in, and a break on bar 6. I'll fold the MIDI clip so you can see my edits clearly and hear how the chorus sounds. Heading back to MDrummer's interface, I'll click on the additional button and deselect random loops, so I have full control over which loops MDrummer will play. Now, using the velocity control, I can choose which loops I want to use for this song.
To conclude this demonstration, I will play the song through with the drum track. Twenty thirteen. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Yeah. Worldwide. Get back. Get back. Get back, y'all. Get back. Get back. Get back. Get back. Get back. Get back, y'all. Get back. Get back. I tell you. Get back. I tell you. Get back. I'll kill you. Thanks for watching. Next, in the M Drummer tutorial series, I will show you how the song tab can be used as an alternative method.